Hey there, a few days ago I created some cards and I promised that I would show a box that I was going to make to hold the cards. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own card box to hold note cards and envelopes. I'm going to show you two different sizes in this video. One is the typical A2 size and the other is the four bar note card size. Don't worry about what those are called, I'll sh talk to you a little bit about the dimensions of these. But I'm going to show you how to create both of these. It's so easy to do and something that you can make easily for gifts. Now to do these, I use a tool that is fantastic. It is the We Are Memory Keepers Envelope Punch Board. Now this tool is great. It's meant to create envelopes, so you can make your own envelopes, but I'm going to use it a little bit differently to make a card box. So this is something fun, just getting more out of a product that you may already have. Now here's what it looks like, and you can see it tells you all the dimensions you need to make any size envelope, that pretty much any size envelope you would want. But I'm going to completely ignore all these instructions, and instead I'm going to make a box out of it. Now I'll put a link in the corner to sh where you can go see how a regular envelope is made with it, but here we're going to do a box. Now this is for the A2 card box size. This is the typical note card size that most card makers make. And it, the note card would be a five and a half by four and a quarter, but we're gonna make a box that's a little bit bigger so it holds envelopes and cards. So it's the darker blue one that you see there in the back that's a little bit bigger. So this is the envelope punch board and I have cut a piece of cardstock to nine by nine. So any kind of cardstock or pattern paper would work. So start with nine by nine and the first thing you do is you put it in and put it at three and a half over here. And I'll put the I'll write these dimensions down on the screen in a moment. But you put it in at three and a half over there and you push that button up there. So you punch it up there. The next thing you do is you take a bone folder. It comes with one, but I like to use my own. And you put it in that little nook up there and pull it diagonally down. See there's this little nook in the paper or in the I'm sorry, in the punch board there. You just score right along it, pulling diagonally down. Once you've done that, you move this over to four and a half and you do the exact same thing. You're going to punch it and then put the bone folder into the little nook and pull it diagonally down and just score right there. Okay, so now you don't have to worry about any other dimensions. Don't worry about anything. You don't use that anymore. From now on, you're just going to line up with the score lines that you've already done. So if you see this little point right here, I'm going to line it up with the first score line. You can barely see it there, but that's the first score line there. So I've got that lined up, the point with the score line. I'm going to punch it and score it diagonally down. So every time you punch and score. So easy to do. Once you do it once, you'll always remember how to do it. So now I'm going to line up that point with the other score line. So I'm lining it up with that score line. I'm going to punch and score again. And now I'll rotate the paper and do the same thing again. So you only need to know that measurement of three and a half and four and a half to measure across the top for your first punch and first scores. That's it. After that, you just line up with the little point that sticks out with the score lines and you're good to go. Very quick and easy to do. So now I'm on my last set here. I'm going to punch and score and then move it over to the next score line, punch and score. Super easy to do. Now when you're creating envelopes, you only do one punch and one score on each side, but we're going to create a box here. So you can see those score lines. You can see how this easily comes together into a box. Now there's another feature on this envelope punch board. If you go in the other side here and punch from the back side, you're actually going to get a rounded corner. So it gives you a nice rounded corner to all of your card boxes or your envelopes, whatever you're making. It's a nice way to give it a finished touch, but you could skip this if you wanted to. Now I just want to make sure that all my little creases here turn into nice folds, so I'm just going to go through and press it with my bone folder. By the way, I'm using just my regular bone folder that I always reach for, just out of habit, but the tool, the envelope punch board, does come with a bone folder that's tucked in here. You can see it here, so you could use that if you wanted to. So now after I've gone through and creased all these really good, there's just a couple more things that we need to do to turn this into a box. We need to kind of finish off the corners. Now I'm going to grab a pair of scissors here and cut off two of the corners. This will be what is the top of my box. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this corner off, just kind of going along the score lines there and just cut the corner completely out so it's nice and clean there. And I'm going to do that on the other corner over here. This will be what is the top of my box that opens up nice and easily. Now for the bottom of the box, I want to keep that flap on. The reason I want to keep that flap on is it'll help us give a nice secure closed off corners on the bottom of the box, which I'll show you in a little bit. So you see I've got these two little flaps right here on the bottom of the box. Now I want to put adhesive on these little flaps, so I'm folding them in and putting adhesive on them and this will help get make it nice and secure. Now I'm going to put adhesive on the outside on the bottom of these two flaps that you see here 
and the more adhesive you use the better. Now we're just going to start to put it together. I'm going to put something in here. You could put a pile of note cards if you wanted to. I just wanted something with dimension to help hold this while I do it. I'm going to glue that little flap in and then fold these pieces all up. So that little flap goes in with the adhesive on it and fold the flaps in on the side and then fold the bottom up. And you can see it looks like an envelope right away, but it's actually a box. Now those little flaps that we kept in the bottom give it night make it nice and secure, so I'm pressing them in there. You could use a thin book or something. I just grabbed my um, scrubber pad over there. But it just helps in making that nice and firm by having something inside when you're doing this. And now you can see the top is nice and finished off. Now I would go in and squirt some strong adhesive in these little creases here to make sure that those don't come undone. But I like to use regular adhesive first so that I can move it around if I don't have it lined up just right. So you can see this is a great note card box. These are typical A2 note card and envelopes that I'm sticking in here. Four and a um, quarter by five and a half note card with the envelopes that are a little bit bigger. And you can see how nice and snug those fit in that box. So you can wrap a ribbon around it and give it as a gift if you wanted to. Um, there's lots of different closures that you can do and it's about three quarters of an inch thick. Now these are the key measurements that you need if you're going to use the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board to make a card box that's for an A2 cards. Uh, you need a 9 by 9 piece of paper and your first scores are at 3 and a half and 4 and a half. So that's what I just showed you. You could put a little note and glue it to the bottom of your punch board so you can remember this if that's helpful. So now that we did the bigger box, I want to show you how to create a smaller box for the four bar note card set. That's what I created a video for the other day. I really love this size. It's a little bit smaller. A four bar note card is three and a half by four and seven eighths. So it's a little bit smaller than the normal size that card makers normally make. But it's so much fun to do something a little bit smaller. Now the card box that I make for this size is five and three quarters by three and three quarters. It's a little bit wider, so there's a little bit of movement inside there, but I think it works out perfectly. Perfectly, and it holds note cards and envelopes. So let's go ahead and create one of this size. It's basically the same process, but instead I'm starting with an eight and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to do my first punch and score at three inches. So there you saw me punch and score, and I've lined up with three inches across the top. And my second one will be at four inches. So I'm going to punch and score once again. Now everything from here on out is exactly the same way as I did the other note card box. So I'm just going to line up the point with the first score line and I will punch and score along that diagonal. And then I'll move it over and line the next point up with the next score line and punch and score again. So I'm just going to go through and complete this process. It's the exact same thing that I did before, but I'm just going to keep on rotating, lining up the score lines, punching and scoring again. Now, I used regular cardstock for this. The nice thing about this size note card box is it starts with 8.5 by 8.5 piece of paper. That you can get out of an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, which most card makers have on hand. For the other one, you need a bigger piece of paper to get the 9 by 9. Now, I use cardstock here, but you could get great pattern papers that are two sided so that when somebody opens up this note card box, there's a fun pattern on one side or maybe a, um, a stripe or a solid. So you can really get creative with it. But I just use regular cardstock for both of these. Now, again, I'm just going to go through. I rounded the corners and I'm just getting these score lines nice and folded so I can easily put the box together. I wanted to show you again on this one how I did these corners just to, sh just to reiterate it. On two of the corners, I'm just putting slits. On the other two corners, I'm going to do the where I completely chop the corners off. So I just cut along the lines that you have there and just cut them out. You can kind of make sure it's nice and clean there because this is the part that's going to open up and people will see. So I'm going to cut the corners off nice and clean, and this will be the top of my box. Now for the smaller box, the, that bottom flap comes up and it sticks up kind of high. So there's something that I do with this smaller box just for a nice finishing touch, but you could skip this if you wanted to. It's completely optional. I'm just going to put a score line in up here on the side that has the flap, so the bottom of the box. I'm going to do a little score line about uh, three quarters of an inch from the tip. So just this little score line. So this folds over there. Now you can, again, can totally skip this, but you'll see in a moment why I did it. So now it's time for the adhesive. I'm going to put some on the outside of these little flaps. I'll fold these bigger flaps on the side in and just put adhesive on the bottom edge. The more you use, the merrier. And now we're going to start to put it together. So I'm going to fold that bottom in, tuck those little flaps in, tuck the side in, and you can put it together. Before I put something in there to give it some support, but here you can see you can do it with your fingers if you wanted to. 
So now I'm just going to kind of put this little edge in here, put the side flap in, and tuck that all together well, pushing in there with my fingers to make sure it's nice and secure. Now you can see why I did that score line along that flap there. It kind of stuck out too high, it kind of looked weird to me, so I wanted it to be tucked back in. So I'm going to put some adhesive on it and tuck it in. You could leave it either way. I don't know. It's up to you whether or not you want that flap sticking up or not. So you can see this cute little box that you get out of it. And here are some four bar note cards and envelopes. And you can see it's got a little room on the sides, but I think this works great. I'm going to buy a little miniature pen to stick in there with this note card set too. Now I wanted to show you one fun way to do a closure. You could do all kinds of things, but I wanted to do a ribbon that stayed attached to the note card box and doesn't come off. So I'm going to put slits on the creases on the back of my box. So this is on the back side. Right, I'm using a ruler here to measure the center. I'm going to do about three quarters of an inch slit right along the back crease there. And I'm just poking little holes with my craft knife. My craft knife's getting a little bit dull. Now on the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use my ruler here to try to get about three quarters of an inch slit right along the center of this crease. I'm just poking my little knife in there to make the little slit. And this will be where we can put my ribbon through, and then the ribbon stays attached to the box. I have some old white silk ribbon that I love that I'm going to put through here. So I'm tucking one end in through the slit in the bottom of the box, and then the other end in the slit at the top of the box. So the ribbon's actually on the inside, but comes out the top and the bottom, so that we can put our note cards in, and then wrap the ribbon around the front and tie it into a bow. The nice thing about this is the ribbon stays attached, so the person can open it up, get out whatever note cards they want, close it up, and then just retie the bow and keep it for later and keeps it all nice and tucked in. You don't have to worry about anything falling out. This is just one of the many ways you can create a closure for these kind of card boxes. Lots of things that you can do here, but I thought this one was kind of fun, so I wanted to show you. I really like this smaller note card size. I think it's fun. And if you're using this envelope punch board, these are the measurements you need to remember. Eight and a half by eight and a half piece of paper, and your first scores are at three inches and four inches. Again, you can write this on a piece of paper and stick it on the back of your punch board so that you have easy reference. So there we took a product that's meant to make envelopes and created boxes from it. I love getting more out of the products that we have. If you're interested in any of the products I talked about in this video, you can look below in the YouTube description. It's all linked there. Or you can head over to my blog where I have a lot more information and more pictures. Just click on the corner up here or just go to jennifermcguireinc.com. Thanks so much for stopping by.